We have been told that there are tons of different apps and gadgets and electronic solutions that we need to buy to be able to work successfully from home. It's really not the case. You don't need that much. That being said, there are a few things that really will make your life so much easier. And so we've put together the five essentials for working from home comfortably. Let's get into it. A dedicated workspace with a table and a chair. Yes, this is very important because even if your dedicated workspace is your couch, it's still not gonna be optimal for work. Of course, it's understandable that this may or may not be achievable for some people, but if you can make it happen, it is so worth it. It doesn't have to be a big table, but any table that you can dedicate just to working. Another very important part is an ergonomic chair because again, you're sitting in it for eight hours of your day and having that comfortable back support that you need is exactly what will help you get into that focus. Bonus tip, lighting. Lighting is so essential. From a psychological and biological perspective, having a different source of light and a different kind of light in your workspace will help you get into the mindset of, okay, this is the place we work because that will give your brain another cue that you are not in like your home living space. It will also help you step back at the end of the day when you can get away from those specific lights as well. Having a selection of your favorite teas and coffees. I need to have a nice warm drink that I can be sipping throughout the day as I go through my tasks. Very often offices will already come equipped with a wide array of different coffees and teas that you can choose from. Very possible that you might not have that same selection at home. But if this is what really gets you going and motivated to sit down and you know, get through those eight hours, then it's totally worth the minimal investment having your favorite teas and coffees that inspire you. An end of the day ritual. Similarly to how our previous tip was to have that morning start of the day ritual with the warm drinks, it's equally as important, if not even more important, to have the end of the day ritual because one of the biggest issues with working from home is not having that kind of division of now I'm working, now I'm at home. One way to do that is to instill a ritual of when your workday ends and what you do. For some people, it's that very satisfying clicking closed your laptop. For other people, it might be going like out of the home for a walk and then coming back in. For me personally, it's taking off my glasses because glasses for me are just something I need to read and uh, to use uh, screens with. So it's kind of both physical and uh, emotional. Four, your go-to audio environment. So just like it's important to have your physical working environment, it's also important to have your own audio environment because audio cues are also super important for getting you in that vibe. For different people, that can be different things. For some people, that might mean having some sound blocking earphones that can keep out household distractions and noises from interrupting you. For other people, it might be putting on their favorite playlist or a white noise. We even did an experiment with video games soundtracks, which was very successful. So um, we'll definitely link that below. Finding your audio space is also a very important tool in setting up your working environment. Five, time tracking software. This is a must for people who find it difficult to identify when they can leave the office. Time tracking software like DeskTime shows you automatically how much time you've already spent at work. And a lot of people working remotely feel the need to work more or to prove themselves more because they feel that they can't be seen. And this is something we're seeing repeatedly being reported that people are overworking themselves when they're working from home because they don't have that cue and they don't have that confidence of when they have worked enough. So making use of a time tracking software can show you when you have hit your daily goal of work hours and you can confidently leave the computer and leave your work and move on to the life portion of the work-life balance equation. 
I know that's something that I myself have struggled with and it's very useful to be able to check desk time and see like, oh wow, I've already you know spent eight and a half hours. Like, time to put an end to this workday. I hope that these tools were useful for you. The majority of them are very cost efficient. And if you want to try out uh, personal time tracking, then we will have a link in the description below for a special deal. So um, hope this was useful. Give it a thumbs up if you found it was, and we'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel below. And if you liked this video, give it a like because it helps us understand if it's worth making these videos for you. Bye.